From the Tennessee Valley Weather Channel, this is your evening update. Hey, good evening, folks. That front is inching closer and closer to the Tennessee Valley. I tell you what, it is knocking on our doorstep. We saw those clouds this afternoon. That really was a sign of the times. That moisture is really just creeping into the Tennessee Valley slowly but surely. And I think tonight and into tomorrow morning, that's whenever the front is really going to make itself known and in a pretty big way. We really get swooped out with these temperatures pretty quickly. As for now, we're doing pretty steady here, holding nicely in the 70s and upper 60s, at least through about 9, 10 o'clock, with partly to mostly cloudy conditions taken back over through the evening. But into tomorrow, I'll tell you what, that's whenever the forecast really changes. So Wednesday's out of the south for the rest of the day, but notice how out to our west, wind's out of the north. Do the math, there's the front. That's gonna be dropping south here. We get the moisture with that as well as we head through tomorrow. Kind of a gloomy Monday in store for us, to be honest with you. Starting the day out pretty chilly and holding steady with those chilly temperatures as we head in the 40s and 50s for our Monday. Rain, there we go. Believe it or not, we'll actually see some falling substance from the sky, right? What is this stuff? I don't think it's enough to make a huge difference for the drought, but you know what? Anything counts, and if anything, I think it's kind of a morale boost just to remind us that rain still does exist. Winds sharply out of the north at a good 10 to 15 miles an hour, so yeah, just not the best Monday, to be honest with you, especially southern middle Tennessee, where I think these higher rain totals might be, but again, I do want to reiterate not to be the bearer of bad news, but it's not going to be enough to make a huge dent in this drought, and I think behind it, we actually dry out even more so still with that dry, cool air coming back through the midweek here and another frontal passage here bringing even more dry air with some windier conditions through Tuesday and Wednesday so I'm actually starting to consider you know the possibility that it might not be great for fire conditions there as well so you know kind of be cognizant of where you're throwing your sparks or your cigarette butts you know I'm not here to judge right but if you're smoking a cigarette throw it in the trash if you're doing anything with sparks flint and steel or whatever hey I don't know just be aware of where those sparks are going okay because you know, dry air like that, windy conditions, never trust that, okay? But besides that, we have some nice weather to look forward to, but I feel like, you know, we've seen so much nice weather. We need some rain, right? But no, we just have consistent nice weather throughout the week and cold weather. I'll tell you more about that in a few moments. It is going to be downright cold as we head to the first half of the work week. As for lows, this is kind of a sign of that front moving through. We're talking 40s as we head through tomorrow morning, specifically with cloudy conditions and some showers moving through as that front makes itself known in a big way. Consistently a little bit closer to 50 in northwestern Alabama, but upper 40s can still be expected there as well. It's definitely quite a change from the 60s that we saw over the last several nights. Uh, definitely seeing some differences here. As for highs, yeah, we're only staying in the 50s there. Not a lot of variability. We're not going from 43 to 75 or anything like that. Don't be mistaken. The cooling trend is here. Check it out. Hohenwald, Lewisburg, Sheffield, only about a five degree spread across southern middle Tennessee and north Alabama. Notice that wind out of the north, a good 10 to 15 miles an hour there with rainy conditions. You're going to want to bring a jacket starting tomorrow, lasting through Wednesday. I'll be honest with you. Here's why. Check it out. You're starting to see those temperatures really drop off through Tuesday, through Wednesday, and check those lows out. We're going to be seeing some frost, I think, as we head through Tuesday and Wednesday, those mid-20s for lows there as we're heading through the first half of the week. We do mild out just a little bit. That's kind of the best way to put it, kind of just milding out, getting into a more reasonable temperature range. You know, upper 60s, maybe near 70 by the end of the weekend and into the end of this work week. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel, right? We're not going to hold these cool temperatures forever, at least for now. Of course, we're going to be approaching December soon, right? But the first week of November does not look too shabby. We just might want to wear a coat on Halloween Tuesday and, you know, kind of protect those plants as we're heading Tuesday night into Wednesday. And honestly, probably through Friday, to be honest with you, because frost still a reasonable bet in some of the cooler spots, especially if your lows are above freezing as a whole. So, you know what, just, you know, take what you can get. That's really the best way to put it. I like to look on the bright side of things. The weather looks nice out there. You know, the pattern will change soon, I'm sure. We need some rain, but clear skies with cool weather, Really don't get much better than this, so we should not take for granted that we have a nice week in store for us as we head over the next seven days.